Hello, today's video is on stock number 35759MD, the uh, module enclosed wide range uh, pulse width modulation DC speed control kit. Um, pretty simple, straightforward. Just uh, it now comes with a, a display. I'll show you how that works. Uh, it has a, a knob here on the side that, that's your, your speed controller. You see the blue. That is just really just a, a scratch coat, so it, it just simply peels off. And uh, it, as you see, it, it does its job to protect it. Uh, on the input, uh, you have your the plus and minus. You must make sure that polarity is correct, or you will burn the unit out. But on the motor side, uh, if you want to reverse, if, you're, if your motor is reversible, you can swap back and forth between the minus and the plus to uh, get the correct correct uh, direction for you. Uh, what I've done real quick is I've taken out two little Phillips screws so I can slide the cover off to show you. Uh, actually, you know, if you want to, you can take this pot, take the screw off, take the knob off, and it has this nice, so you can remotely mount it if you want to away from that. This is the display. It comes basically together like this. Uh, there's an open slot here. It simply plugs into, and voila, it's 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 up and going. Okay, so let's talk about the specs. Uh, it says from 12 volts to 80 volts DC, uh, 20 amp max, with a 30 amp surge. That surge is just simply for the inrush current of your DC motor, so a very short period of time. Uh, to give you an idea. At 12 volts DC, it's rated at 250 watts, which is right at uh, 20 amps. At 24 volts, it's rated at 350 watts, which is about 14 and a half amps. And at 48 volts, it's rated at 500 watts, which is right at 10 amps. So you can calculate the curve there if you need to. Uh, it's from 0 to 99% of the uh, rated RPM of the motor. And the pulse width modulation works at a maximum frequency of uh, 21 kilohertz. Other than that, if we look at the size, these are our one inch squares. So you can see it's uh, four and three eighths of an inch. But uh, including the knob, it's uh, three and three quarters. But just without the knob, it's just slightly over three inches. And let's see, overall thickness is about one and three eighths. Okay, well we got that part of it out of the way. I take this off screen. I have one already set up with uh, all the, the proper power. Like I say, power in must be, polarity must be match, must be correct. And I, I've deliberately gone ahead here and hooked up this motor backwards. This is marked, the red one is actually the minus, the black is the, the plus. So you can, uh, you can see it operate in reverse. There again, like I say, you just simply have to plug in the display. Make sure it's in there well. Keep it in screen now. Okay, I have it hooked up to 18 volts DC in my benchtop power supply. And then we just simply turn the knob. You do have a click, an off, and on. And right now it's at zero. As you increase it, obviously you increase the speed of the motor. Now uh, this displays zero to one hundred percent. That's not the RPM. Uh, just simply the, where, where you are in the pulse width. So if you want to set it at fifty percent duty cycle, you can. Nice easy control. Turns off. We turn it up. It says twelve volts to eighty volts DC. And I'm, I think it does go a little below that. I'm going to turn down my bench top power supply. So the input voltage right now is at 10 volts. Down to 9 volts. But it definitely does drop out right about, there we go, right at about 5.5, 6 volts. So I'm not sure how that affects the pulse width modulation. But it does work, I feel comfortably down to 10 volts. That's at 10 volts right there. And obviously you can still.
Okay, that is the operations of the unit. I hope this will answer some of your questions. Thank you for watching our video.